Hello guys and welcome to the fifth part of this tutorial series whereby we are creating a routing mapping application using PG Routing, GeoServer and Leaflet.js. So far we have been able to load the data, uh, prepare the database, create our network. Now the next part will be to determine the cost for getting from one point to another. Uh, what cost really means here is how are you going to determine on how uh, how are you going to return the distance or rather the path between two parts? Are you going to use the traffic? Are you going to use the time it takes to travel from point A to B? Or are you going to use the uh, the actual distance? You see, um, the, uh, the total actual distance from point A to B. So applications like Google Maps, they usually put into consideration the traffic. If there's traffic in a given road, it will tell you that this will take um the longest time maybe and maybe it will give you alternative paths that try to avoid uh the traffic so in this application we are going to use the uh, only distance as our our costing mechanism you can use traffic you can model the time you can model any other metrics into your application but for uh, purposes of simplicity we are just going to use the distance that's distance from the actual distance from point a to b as our costing mechanism so once we have that and um, that understood so the next step now will be to to calculate the distance from uh, in our nodes uh, in our nodes database and the way we are going to do uh, first we are we will have to pre-calculate the distance so that we save uh, we save the server from calculating the distance at each request so we are going to calculate the distances to do that first we need to create the distance um the field we need to add the field uh so to do that we just say we'll alter the ages node table so alter ages ages underscore noded and then we are going to add a new column called distance then we are going to give it a data type of float yeah. so uh, okay you need to add the table here add the table edges nodded uh, now once we have the distance column added to our table now we can go ahead and update uh, update this column so that it, it reflects the distances for each node uh, of each node from the other node so we're going to update going to do update ages noted this is the table that we are updating um we're going to set the column which is the distance column should be equal to the st using the st length uh, function from postgis and then want to transform it to geographic coordinates so st transform which takes in the geom column and then the srid of the new projection that you want to uh, transform to and then we want the distance to be returned in geography that's in meters geography geography job if i can type correctly geo geography and then um um should be double quotes so let's say geography and then we want the result to be in kilometers so divide by a thousand yeah so geography should be closed here yeah, and once we have that should have the distance updated and if we can view the data should be able to see uh, if i can refresh and then um view the 100 should be able to see this data here so yeah the distance has been calculated so now that we have our table uh, the column the distance column updated in our edges node table so the next step will be now to test the gqstra algorithm and see if it actually runs it gives us the shortest path between the nodes 
so we are going to test using um, maybe some two nodes uh, we're going to use let's say uh, from our from our nodes vertices we are going to take maybe node from node 1 to and 9 so that we get the shortest distance between these so do this we are going to run the gkstra algorithm uh, actually you can uh, you can um, see what the gkstra algorithm does so if you google pgr uh, pgr routine i'm using version 2.3 so if i go to that and then go to the gkstra algorithm down here can be able to see the commands and the arguments on and how and what the function actually does so i'm going to just directly run the function so what i'm going to do is do the select command then select or then from the pgr uh, dig extra extra so make sure type it correctly so then the first is the you give it the logic that is going to use to select the data so i'm going to give it the id the source you can read more on the command that it accepts the target the distance uh, as, as cost so this will be the output in our table and then from edges loaded and then the starting point let's be nine node nine and then then the, the last verse let's be nine, one to nine the starting is one and then the last one is nine um so make sure it's correctly typed and if we run that you should get the distance so this can see it's showing you the nodes the edges the cost and the aggregate cost so it gives you the sequence on how you are going to move from which node to which node so this is the actual output from the pg uh, the digital algorithm representing the shortest path so this is what we'll be doing from the client we'll be requesting the um the server we'll giving it the starting point and then the ending node point and then a digital algorithm will run from your server and then give the, us this output and then it will be upon us to convert this output into uh, into a format that can be mapped so we have done the costing now the next step will be to publish this data this function to your server and then go ahead and build the leaflet front-end client and we'll be rolling so see you next time